Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 23H2 update, KB5052094, has made its way out of preview into the stable channel. And this is give or take the same update I posted on a couple of days ago when it was still in release preview. And the update is optional. So if you do decide to install it after the update has been applied, the, the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.4974. Now, there are eight new features rolling out, and they're all on a gradual rollout. So you may see some of these features we're going to talk about today, you may not. And this is one more new feature than when the update was in preview where it only had seven. Now, focusing on the highlights, and the first is that the first new feature is you can now share files directly from a jump list on the taskbar and in case you're unaware jump lists appear when you right click an app that has a jump list on the taskbar and I think if you are sharing files that is a nice move in the right direction and then Windows Spotlight for the desktop has received two new improvements and just to head into our settings and enable Windows Spotlight where I'm just going to mention these there's a quick and easy way to find out more information about a background image where you can simply hover over the image or click the learn about this picture icon and the update makes Windows Spotlight easier to find and Microsoft says you'll notice changes to the icon color which I'm not seeing yet and background and also the icon will show at the lower right area on your desktop where currently its default is in the top right area so um, that's two improvements for Windows Spotlight for the desktop and then the next new feature is for the lock screen. Once again, I'm just going to mention this. The update makes it easier to learn more about the image on your lock screen when you click the like icon. And Microsoft really wants us to learn more about Spotlight images of the day, both on the desktop and um, on the lock screen, which I think most, including myself, um, to some extent or the other, would consider it to be bloat. And then Narrator, which is an accessibility feature. So if we just head into that, Narrator is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen. According to Microsoft, there are new functions for the narrator scan mode. So skip past links, N allows you to go to the text after a link. Use the comma to jump to the start of an item. Use the period to jump to the end of an item. And they say this is most helpful when you read long emails, news articles, and wiki pages and jump to lists l allows you to quickly access a list on a web page or in a document so that's narrator which has received a couple of improvements and then the next new feature is microsoft says that some of you might see a new referral card for a pc game pass subscription on the settings home page where you can invite friend, friends and family and so on and if you qualify, that card only appears when you sign into your PC using your Microsoft account. So that's obviously Microsoft uh, trying to get more people to use Microsoft accounts. And then the File Explorer. Quite a bit going on with the File Explorer. First of all, there's one new feature where you can now snooze or turn off the Start Backup Reminder in the File Explorer address bar. So here's your Start Backup. This only applies if you're not already backing up your files and folder. And to view this new option, right click Start Backup. Okay, so I'm not seeing that yet, but I'll leave a video I did post on that when it was still very much in preview, link down below and in the end screen. And then we get three fixes. The first is that when you enter a URL in the address bar, it might not go to the location. The second is the address bar overlaps files when you use F11 full screen mode. So just to show you what that's all about, there we can see something weird going on there but that has not fixed this for me i still have that issue and that has definitely not been fixed but microsoft says it is a fix but just remember that these are the features and fixes rolling out gradually so that's maybe why and then the context menu opens slowly when you right click cloud files and then um, there is an improvement where thumbnails for cloud files display more consistently in search results and then there is a fix for the start menu where the colors were wrong 
when you open the account manager flyout menu and this occurs when you use a mixed dark and light custom mode in settings under personalization colors under those options and then there's also a fix for the mouse that's rolling out gradually so if we head over to our accessibility and we click on mouse pointer and touch apparently now you can choose a color for the mouse that is not the default when you choose a color it was reverting to white after the user account control dialog appears so that's a bit of a fix that's rolled out for that actual mouse pointer and then we've also got a new settings feature but this is going to apply to commercial customers so i'm just going to mention this where microsoft says you will see two new cards that are relevant to enterprises one card shows device information from the other you can choose the accessibility features you want so there is a new home page for commercial customers in regards to these settings so that's your home page for home users and this is going to look a little bit different for commercial customers so those are the new features and fixes that are rolling out gradually and on a normal rollout we've got one two three four fixes just to quickly mention these this update supports daylight saving time changes in paraguay there's a fix for the desktop windows manager which is quite an important part of the operating system and apparently it was stopping to respond that's an important fix that's been that's been addressed and then the update brings country and operator settings asset profiles up to date for certain mobile operators and there's an open secure shell open ssh known issue that's been fixed where the service was failing to start which stops ssh connection so that's quite an important fix there with that dwm so guys that's more or less what's new for windows 11 23 h2 with the latest update 5052094 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one